Hello, uh, my name is Daniel and this is Stone Clone. And uh, I was asked, um, how did I make the mirror effect in my animation? And I saw I wanted to showcase uh, my, my bathroom. And I will talk a little bit about how I did it and how it was all done. And also I will talk about the the um, effect on the, on the door. For example, this one here is a, a resource I imported. It was just plain. I had to manipulate the the actual mesh in order to make it transparent um for example we see our texture it has no texture the only thing it has is this uh, roughness and metallic effect i just uh, tweaked a little bit here actually it's on it's on stack it's on normal the only one who who was tweaked because this is a steel here i tweaked the <laughs> the mirror one sorry see this one was on zero because I don't need to tweak it, but the, the the metallic effect one, this one is also on zero here. So, um, how do I make it look like that? Well, let's see, this is the door. Those are the steel bars on the door. And those are those. The opacity of this is about 5%. And I, I tweet the metallic here and changed the values here. So you can see, changing the values makes it more reflective. And it will reflect the EBL map you see here. This EBL map, as you can see around the bathroom, and I will show you how it looks like. This is how it looks like, the whole bathroom. It's just that. Um, I I have another wall here. There's no entrance way because I I didn't figure to record the entrance way because it wasn't important for me at all. Because I wanted just the bathroom scene and stuff. And I will keep going because this is just the the finished project. But I still have to make some animations with her uh, taking a shower and fix some angles on the camera so it doesn't look she's um, she will be nude. But uh, you won't see her completely nude. So you will see above or the other feet. That's all you're gonna see until she has a towel towel on, of course. And um, the thing is here, um, there's a wall here in front, and this is just here. This here actually is what the most easiest way you can imagine. The walls here, those here, you can see those. They're just uh, standard blocks. You can have and template props and those are the uh, blocks with a uh, surface meaning uh, the substance surfaces meaning they're like the old blocks in iClone but they have substance surfaces meaning is if you if you select one of those here wall of floor those are the the ones I used uh, you, you go ahead and, and charge let's say the, the door or the wall here and they come like this Give it a second, it needs to load. See, they come like this. Uh, and you can go ahead and change these values and, and do things. And for example, the textures look way too bad here. You just scroll down here and go to Substant M. And here already you have the choice to change some uh, textures. You can make it look like a rock, for example. Or you can go to Metal. You don't like the texture size here. It's 512, 512. You can change the value here. It can go high up. So for example, mine goes to 2000. And now the the size and the quality of the texture is way better. And the tweaks here, you can change other things. In my way, I can even go and open and charge in a new a new form of uh, marble, for example. This is marble, but we can make it look white. We can change actually the color. In Afghan's parameters here down, you can change the color. You can make it marble, white marble. And then you change the, the resolution here. There you go. Now you got a white marble wall. Although it doesn't look that good. I mean, because uh, it's marble. Marble isn't supposed to be a whole wall. So in order you go and just make marble tinier. And use it for something like, for example, this here. This surface. This surface here. See, this is just... White marble underneath. There's just nothing here. I, I uh, used a normal prop here and see this is empty underneath because I had to put in the sink. The sink is a, a free content I, I downloaded, 
it it's a uh, it's an online page which has uh, tons of free uh, uh, 3D stuff you can use. It's just uh, interior stuff, just plain with no texture, nothing. The effect you use on the items are used from the IBL, and the the IBL effect itself gives it the the looks to it. I cannot select it directly here. Now I have this thing. Just take a look at that. I applied a metallic effect here. I have some here. Uh, the, the masks have different kinds of um, um, results to it. I already explained that in a video. And um, apply the different mask and you have a different result. See, it's not longer than metallic. It's uh, more smoothly like. But the most metallic result you get from uh, an orange mask or even a yellow one. And you get this metallic result in this uh, cool effect here. You can go here to this one and see how it was tweaked. This is all on zero because uh, I think what happened here is that those resetted once I saved the project. But I tweaked those in order to make them more reflective. The same I did with some surfaces like this. Or especially this thing here behind me. It wasn't PBR until I made it PBR. And I put on uh, this uh, metallic map. I loaded actually in this one and I changed the value of it, uh, tweaking it here. You cannot appreciate that because it's all set to zero for some reason. Uh, but it was tweaked because it was uh, orange and I, I, it's yellow now and I didn't have a yellow map. Uh, so the walls are just plain uh, primitives. Uh, who have the substance effect on it so I can tweak them and change the textures on it and, and, and can change so many things how it look like for example that wall color we can we can go and make it darker see then it looks way darker and let's put it back to its original there we go uh, the same thing I did with this toilet. The toilet had no texture at all and it has none. It's just reflective and what it reflects is the EBL map. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal you how you how do you make a custom EBL map. Okay, let's go to our... Let's see, I got a ball somewhere here. <laughs> I hide my balls. Um, uh, yeah, there's two balls here. One is right here in the middle and it's hidden. Now if I show the ball you can see this here. See the ball is in maximum reflectivity. How do you do that? Well uh, it's a primitive. It's a primitive. You load it in. You just take one of the 3D blocks here and load in the ball and that's it. For example I'm going to show you how I created this ball and what it does. For example let's delete this one. Wait a little bit. This project is kind of heavy. I I noticed one thing. Okay, I I have a eight core processor in it with three point nine. No, it was a four four gigahertz to so up to four three. It is an old processor. It's an AMD FX. Those are old processors, but the processor isn't that important because I've already used more the graphics card and the memory of your program, and I have. Uh, 24 gigs of memory and I have a GTX 1080 in there as you can see up here uh, 8 gigs of RAM but I noticed that iClone has one problem the playback and it even started to stuttering if you overcome 3 gigs of capacity in your um, in your programs and, and my started to stutter and sometimes it even freezes I think that has to do with a hard drive maybe although I have an SSD but it still needs to access the resources on my hard drive uh, so I don't know what what could what could it be is my processor overcome sometime or what or is a ten, GTX 1080 not enough for iClone 7 anyway uh, even now you can notice if I move it it's just a bit more slower and I, I got the GI deactivated and the, the the shadows right now. Okay, let's get to the point and we show you the ball. We show you my ball. Okay, the ball is big. I got a big ball. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this a bit smaller. We wanted to center the ball about in the middle of the room. 
I wanted the ball to pick up above and underneath. I got the ball here. And let's just say this here is not here. My original uh, background IBL was this one here, or OM Kitchen Environment. This was my original background IBL. Alright. So, with that being there, I wanted to create an IBL who shows the surroundings of all this room. So, in order to do so, first of all, this here, this has to go. Good. Uh, we need our wall back, because uh, in order this to work, we need the ball. The wall needs to come up. Here we go. Now, we can go and take a view of one of my cameras, maybe. Nope. Nope. <laughs> well then, I guess we go take on the preview view then and get, get in there. No, I just... Let's see which camera I'm, uh, am I not using right now. Uh, yeah. Cameras are all out there. I think my first camera is the one I'm not using right now. It's this one. So, in order to get in here, is it animated? Wait a little bit. Okay, it's... It's animated. Okay, because it's the main animation. So, let's, let's get this camera and go and take away the animation. There we go. Now, once it's gone, let's focus on the ball. There we go, and now go in there. There we are. Good. With that being here, first of all, the base figure doesn't need to be here. And you already see that something is happening here. How is that possible that I have a mirror and I make her disappear and the mirror is, is like this? You already have a thought and probably think how I did the mirror effect, but I will show you that anyway now. For the moment, I will explain you my EBL, my custom EBL. And so I take the ball in because what what I what I'm about to show you is what I saw in a t another tutorial. I think it was a revolution tutorial about EBLs. So I'm just um, the saying, um, reapplying that knowledge and show you how I put that in action. It's probably the same way he did it in this video, and um, I'm actually grateful to learn how those making ebay works and how you can make the surroundings and environment look more realistic using them okay this is the main light source and it makes this and gives us the light around the room now let's activate our global illumination here let's activate our shadows so it's a bit darker now the ball we need to go and make the ball completely and utterly reflective as you can see now the ball is reflective we take away this color just erase the texture now the ball has taken over the reflection of all the room. What it reflects actually are, are now is the EBL. It reflects my EBL map. Here. You can see it. If I go in here, you can see the reflection it took around the room. This is important. So once this is done, you can go ahead and create a new map. Source initial EBL. It will use your EVL as main light source, meaning as the light or the EVL as source in order to make yours is be this one. So you choose this one, okay? This one is the one you are loaded in. So once I did that, uh, I made the EVL, and now well, what you're gonna do now is go down here and we bake our new EVL. I can bake the size of the EVL and I choose like a giant one, 70,000, the biggest one you can get. You can make smaller one if you want, but 
I wanted the best one so I can get the best performance out of it. So big the EBL. That will take a while. Um, I will call this one because I already have the up here. You can see the shower room here. Yeah, I already have that one. So I make um. Call this one uh, bathroom tutorial, and save it. Now it's gonna make the EBL. Shouldn't take that long. I mean. For me it didn't take that long but I wasn't recording either so that can take a bit. Depend on how much memory you have or what kind of PC you're running. It's already in 21% so it shouldn't take that long for me. Let's wait. Forty-seven You can do it. I trust in you. And now it's take a while. Oh, if you think about it, um, once you record something, it doesn't matter what it is, uh, and stream a game or record and while you're playing, it it slows down your graphic card and your processor and your memory, because that recording program takes part of it, if not thirty percent of it, and you actually notice it really much. For example, I could not record any advances in DAS because um, almost done here. Uh, for example, if somebody wants to record a rendering in DAS iRay, uh, he needs to have two do graphics cards. One you can put your recording on and the other one where you can uh, use it for rendering. I got, uh, I, I got my old 970 running there it's only for DAS and physics. I can calculate the physics on it, because ca you cannot SLI uh, 1080 and 970. That's impossible. But you can SLI um, to 1080, for example, with no problems. And uh, as far as I know, you cannot SLI them. Uh, anyway, now it's almost done here. It's just me rambling here, killing some time. Usually it doesn't take that long, but you know, the recording 95. So I plan to do a tutorial about rendering for a couple of friends of mine and okay there we are. Now there we have our EBL image. Uh, you can already see this image is kind of a little bit more different than the one I I used. It's a bit more bright. So we can put this one here away and change the strange and now we have our bathroom environment here. Now the surfaces here are reflecting the EBL as you can see. You can go directly and activate the GI here so it is a bit more private. Some like it, some don't. I am I'm different about it. Strange of the EBL makes the reflection of all um, surfaces who have stronger thing reflect actually the wall behind me that EBL image I just created normally I go and leave the ball there and just hide it here like that and it doesn't annoy me because it's not important you have the EBL image already here and it's saved up it's saved up as such and if you don't like what you did you just go ahead and take a, a custom EBL you can even go and download EBL images online and use them as search, uh, a source in order to bake your own EBL image. Practically the EBL image made a 360 image as you can see here and make the reflection all of the environment here to make the bathroom look realistic like the lightning is doing what it's doing. Um, go out here let's see I got the wall selected yeah uh, now let's talk about my light setup. What's well, actually easy? I took the standard light tools. You got those here in uh, sky tool a little bit down. No, no, a little bit lower up. Light tool here. This one. The standard icon light tool. I took those one here and put one here and one there. I have the modifiers over here. I can change the luminosity. 
you can see all the lights and this one here up here is actually a very easy one let's get the glow out of it completely there we go it looks like a light doesn't it but what it actually is is a primitive it's just a half sphere I scaled down see a half sphere a primitive I scaled down and there it is I gave it a glow effect and took away the original texture and changed it for a white texture um, let's go back here there we go let's put this back up here and I just put it here on the roof the roof is nothing else but uh, just a plain primitive and the glow effect is here and there we go and we got our uh, self illumination on it makes it too strong so I don't make it so strong otherwise it would be too much and I have the uh, global Im illumination on here see so it gives light off all the room here and those uh, those lights here actually give shadows to the room so you can see and notice it and you can actually go also and create your own shadows for example you want this light above you to create own shadow you just go ahead and create like um, a, the a light and you create what we call a shadow caster you can have a directional one that is useful if you have a outside environment or you can spot shadow it's a spotlight and instead of a light it's, it, it spots a shadow so we move this one here up off for example right above here into our light source let's put this here in the middle like this and put it down this that, that it looks out yeah something about that now if we have the range of the shadow caster you can see the effect is subtle but it casts a shadow so if we turn out our lights here, this ones, we turn the luminosity down here. Now we only have the bathroom light. I mean, that makes a more realistic environment lighting, if you can see. Uh, and we change the range see the shadow is gone the shadow is here now you can go and, and apply the darkness so it's more stronger and once you put for example my my character back here you can see she has a shadow and my shadow map is actually pretty high i got 4000 to 4000 the maximum you can get this way the shadow caster works you don't need any um, normal spotlight anymore you can use the global illumination with the shadow caster together to create a realistic looking environment that looks actually pretty good so let's talk about how I made and I, I take away a little bit of effects here because um, well let's let, let me this on here and take away the shadow cast go away okay that's good we have no shadows now let's go to what we did in order to make uh, our mirror effect it's actually pretty easy you probably noticed it already no if i if i make play here there's one fail i made and that fail you can actually fix later on and probably if you have noticed the face so she makes a pose and she repeats that there in the mirror all right but you can see i can hide her and she, she the, the mirror is still showing her image so what happened here um it's not a real mirror it's just a camera effect and going to my camera too here you can see nothing until i go select not the toilet <laughs> selecting the toilet here now the camera uh, is put just behind the mirror as you can see this is our mirror and I put the camera here just going through here like that 
angle is put and you can reproduce actually the animation here we have to probably activate our shadows again go to our light sources this is how it looked in, in, the, in the video and you go and reproduce the video like this Now the light is on and we got our light effect back here. Now finally, sorry, I cut off most of the part where I was about five minutes here uh, trying to to know what happened and what just happened here. Uh, that's another thing here uh, in iClone I hate this. It automatically animates something if you have the timeline up, even if it was an accident. Uh, you should really put a button here, for example, uh, 3ds Max has a button who allows you to get in K-frame mode or not, so you can play with the timeline without being an animation. And now it's freezing on me. Why are you freezing on me now? What is wrong with your iClone? I'll be back in a second. So I'm checking why my iClone is frozen and I had constant crashes in this project and it's really annoying. So as you can see here, I, I run Windows 7, okay? I have an old operating system because I'm used to it and I don't like Windows 10 much. Although later on I have to upgrade. Anyway, here I am. Now, um, it says here clearly iClone X not responded. That means it's not responding and it's it's like that in the state and you can see actually um, what is using my memory up y you can see here I have 24 gigs of memory uh, in, in cache 13 it uses barely 10 gigabyte right now and the processor is working now it's see uh, the processor is starting to work it wasn't 20 percent for a minute ago and now it's working because I'm recording right now if I stop recording, it's not working because icon is frozen. It's not doing anything anymore. It will stay like this for an hour if necessary because the program is broken somehow. So I have to probably um, get out and uh, reload the project using the recovery mode. Uh, this is the, the, the one of the issues most of the people don't show if they make their tutorials, but you get very much issues. Even if I have a 1080 card in there, Icon will crash on me. Just like that. So, I am back in my project. I spawned here. I don't know why I say spawn, but it's not a video game. But here I am. Where am I? Okay, I'm at this point here. And you can already see the project is... So, I still don't have this lamp here copied, it doesn't matter. I have the original project saved up and this is for showing you always so I don't make major adjustments. So this here is a, is a screen, sci-fi screen. And what I did here is go directly to the textures here and you have screen here. And here I loaded a video in. Because when I put on my camera here, get rid of my wall and started recording exactly this scene here and the light turns on again automatically what is wrong with my avatar? I oh, know I was thinking she had no head but she has uh, I'm seeing weird stuff so I think I have to activate my global illumination here no, no it's on, it's on and my shadow is on as well
So I made a recording here, but there's one mistake I made. I noticed now, and you can I can as well as far as don't have to happen with you, but once you recorded the video, you go in and and go to a video editor and edit it, because sometimes you have to cut out the video so it looks more nearer, so it looks more like she is really in front of the mirror. Otherwise, the video is gonna look more smaller. Or just go in here and zoom a little bit in here, more than normal, you know. Can zoom in a little bit more and more than normal, and it should perfectly work for you. Uh, but you have to go to the video program as well here, and I opened the video here in uh, uh, Vegas Pro, um, and here um, I reproduce the video, and 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 I forget about one important thing. A mirror is an inverted image of you. So in order to make this effect, how to maybe flip the image. So uh, she instead of more on this side is of the other side. Uh, in Vegas Pro you have to go to this here. And go to position. And then in here. There you go. Now the video is flipped horizontally. Uh, what was that? What now? Okay, sorry, it was my fault. I should have uh, clicked on the first K-frame here and then here invert horizontally otherwise if you do it in the middle of the video it adds an effect I don't want that effect there we are no weird effect <laughs> applied here I actually had to look that up in order to get this right so let's render the video and load it in and finish this pain in my art Okay, it's already at 7.20, so posing 6, yeah, I, I had a couple of tries here. Alright, it's running in the video, I'll be back when it's done. So now we got our serves, a flipped video. Alright, it's from the other side. I still like this one because it's funny, you know. It's a cool effect, but it is not the effect I wanted to do. So this one is the video I'm gonna upload here. And now we change this for that mirror posing 6. Now, as you can see, now the mirror is in the correct position while she's moving. It has a little bit of stuttering here, but it's not because of the video, it's because of this frame rate we have here. 30 frames. 13 frames, because the frame rate is awful. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you got Vegas Pro, uh, just try to, to go there. Click on, on position, the first mark the first frame rate down here, and just click on the image and, and flip horizontally and uh, that works on Vegas Pro if you have uh, I don't Adobe Premiere or Vegas Pro are the most important ones to use but there are probably other programs out there try to figure out how to flip <laughs> horizontally an image or if you already know it just do it and, and then re-render the video and just load it in there and, and you got your mirror effect correctly applied instead of my one who's sloppy quickly done and not that beautiful actually let's stay this wall so that's about it I guess that's about it the camera is not moving correctly here it's supposed to move a little bit less like that anyway now I explained my environment, how I done things and how it looks like. And here take a look that is Lola here. And I applied some nice 
PBR effect on her on her body. There's one thing I have to notice here and uh, sometimes if you import and many times if you import stuff from DAS to character creator in order to adapt then stuff like this here happens and I really had to go to ZBrush here and adjust the towel here in front because it looked like it was glued on her instead of just be being on her you know so uh, I had to really fix some stuff here and also the textures I had problems with the textures uh, I saw a tutorial how to get the textures correctly in but I already had her imported with the wrong textures she, she didn't have any um, if you go on the skin body here she didn't have any roughness near a uh, uh, bump map here and also the metallic map here I created in order to make this effect here that looks like she's wet because she came and had a shower it's called normal that she's wet and and um, yeah I applied that to her although if you <laughs> apply the textures like I do because one major part of uh, being this laggy and taking so much memory is because I have uh, 4000 textures on her so the maximum size and it, uh, she has dust hair so if I can go and take this away here for example you can see her hair here that's the hair and I just got rid of the upper part just hide it here in opacity see now it's here and this this part here even if I render it in a video most of the part uh, it's getting cut out somehow it doesn't want to render the the uh, dust hair at all it doesn't want to so uh, if you can work with other hair a uh, character creator hair it's probably way smoother in order to make animations and also keep your textures on uh, 2048 they look good enough okay i i wanted i wanted to do the 4000 so i can zoom in on like this and see the detail of her face and um, that's it that's all I gotta say right now this is gonna be more uh, they're gonna be more uh, scenes made because I make a short animation about Lola and I keep you updated with some short videos showing my well what I doing you know so okay that's it bye